In San Diego, Howard Griffith learned that preparing for a Super Bowl is different than playing in one. Phil Simms was out at practice, and we were just talking. And he said, you know, Howard, if you're fortunate enough to have the offense introduced, it's going to be probably one of the most powerful moments that you'll ever remember. Brett Favre showed why the Packers were 14-point favorites, scoring on their first possession. But the Broncos answered with their own drive. Ten plays which demonstrated their determination to play power football against the defending world champions. Elway, handoff, Davis, in the end zone, touchdown! Brett Favre and the Packers were losing their grip on the game. But eventual MVP Terrell Davis, who was experiencing a migraine headache, was losing his vision. What's that? Can't see. Okay, just do this. You just run it all adjust to you. <laughs> Play fake, Elway rolls right. He can run it in, John, it will trot into the end zone. Touchdown! Terrell Davis's eyesight returned and the Packers saw him run for 157 yards and three touchdowns. But the most eye-opening run of Super Bowl 32 was a leap by a man in whom the Broncos placed their faith. Elway can run. Come on, John, come on. Come on. Inside the 10, head first. He dies inside the five-yard line. Yeah. Great. Brett Favre won in the second straight ring. John Elway was thrilled to still have a chance to win his first. Tied at 24 with barely three minutes to play, Elway's prayer was answered. But this time, he didn't have to be a hero in order for Denver to win. The quarterback who once willed the Broncos to so many last-second victories threw but one pass on the 49-yard drive. His talented team did the rest. Denver drove to the Green Bay one, took the clock under two minutes, and forced the Packers to make a difficult decision. Davis, into the end rocking, standing up. Can you say Denver is in the lead? Denver has! Denver's gonna win it! Are you kidding me? And I just turned around and it looked like a volcano coming out. All our guys on the sideline running on the field, up and down. I just was in disbelief. Perhaps no one was more stunned than John Elway. After carrying the Broncos for so many years, his team finally carried him to the only distinction he ever really wanted, world champion.